Hey, so welcome back, and here's another uh, daily Leetcode problem. So today we're going to do the question called remove duplicate letters. So this is a pretty popular question asked by Google and uh, several other companies here. But essentially all that we have is we have this uh, string S and we want to return the string without any duplicate letters. But there's one catch here, and it's that we want to also output the smallest lexicographical order. And all this means is we want the letters that are smallest at the front. In other words, the letters that appear as early up in the alphabet as possible. And so in this case, we're saying, okay, um, the letter A is less than the letter B. And so we want the letter A to come before the letter B in our output here. And so what this looks like is in this example, what we have here is B, C, A, B, C, so B, C, A, B, C. And so what we want to output in this case is, all right, so we see there is A here, and A is the smallest letter, so we would want that to come first. And we can actually do this in this case because, well, we can either remove B here or remove it here. But because A is smaller than B, it would be nice if um, A became before it, so let's go ahead and remove this one and add it here. And then also this can be repeated with C here and C here, and we're gonna remove this one because C is greater than A, and so let's go ahead and put it at the end. All right, so that works, but how do we actually write an algorithm? How do we actually solve this programmatically? And so there's two steps to doing this. Um, the first thing that we're going to be thinking about is we're going to iterate from left to right here, and as we're moving along, we're going to use a stack, okay? So this is using the stack pattern or the stack data structure that you see a lot on LeetCode. And the thinking behind this is a lot of the problems that have something like, okay, what's the next greatest element or the next like smallest element? Um, typically, you can solve those type of questions with a stack, and you wanna kind of frame your thinking for this problem around that. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to say, okay, uh, say if what's currently on the stack is B and C. And that's kind of if you're at this point here. All right, so we're just adding stack, uh, things to the stack as we go along. So we're at A. And what we're going to do is say, okay, if the letter at the top of the stack is greater than the current uh, letter, then if this letter is greater than the current letter, and this letter appears later on, let's go ahead and remove it from our stack. So we see here that C does appear later on, and it's at the top of our stack and it's greater than our current letter, so let's go ahead and remove it. And so we remove it, and then we can kind of repeat that logic for B. So B is also bigger than A, and it appears later on, and so we're also going to remove it from our stack, and then add A. And so with that, we add A, and then we're at B, and well, B is smaller than A, or bigger than A, so we can add it. And then we're at C here, and we can also add that, and that's kind of our output. The other part of this question that um, allows us to do this is we just wanna have a hash map here um, that allows us to quickly look up what is the last occurrence of this uh, letter in our string. And so in this case, we'll have that hash map like this, so we'll have uh, A, B, and C, and then their last occurrences are two, three, and four. So in other words, this is the last occurrence of a particular uh, letter here. All right, and so let's go ahead and implement this. So this will run O of n time and space complexity, but it's a pretty efficient algorithm. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be returning that stack but as a string, so we're going to output something like this, oh, uh, like this. And so with that, we're going to say, all right, so let's go ahead and define that stack. And then we're also going to want that uh, hash map here, so last occurrence of every single uh, letter here. And so that's going to say this particular letter at this index is the last occurrence of this letter. And so it's going to look like uh, this for I and the letter. We're just going to enumerate this string to get those indices. And so from here, we're also going to want to have a set just to see that, okay, if we already added a letter to our output, let's just avoid adding it to our output again, because we don't want duplicates. 
So we're just going to iterate uh, through for every letter in this string here once again. And we're just going to say, okay, if this letter is not in scene and we haven't already added it to our stack, uh, then let's go ahead and process it. And so to do the logic with um, uh, popping off from our stack, what we're going to say is, okay, if we have something on our stack and what is at the top of our stack is greater than the current letter, then if it appears later on in our string, we want to, uh, let's see here, we want to pop it from our stack. So let's go ahead and say, okay, and what's at the top of our stack appears later on. So the last occurrence of this string comes later than our current index, then we want to pop it from our stack. Now we also want to remove it from scene because, well, uh, it is no longer in our stack here, so we do want to eventually add it later on. And so with this, with each iteration, we want to be adding the current letter as well as appending the current letter to our stack. All right, so let's go ahead and try running that. All right pull this up, accepted, and let's go ahead and try submitting it. And success, so that runs in O of N time and space complexity. It's a great uh, stack question from uh, Google, and I highly recommend kind of repeating this, really ingraining in your head uh, how to recognize these type of stack problems. And I think uh, this last occurrence hash map just really helps simplify things and just uh, a clean way of solving the problem. All right, so yeah, hope this helped a little bit, and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.